My parents are living a life I don't want to live at 70. Women are really the pioneers of aging. A woman really needs chocolate. Love older women, younger men. Woman a pause. Yeah. <laughs> women who don't have to pause. We, we are best friends. Minnesota Okinawa. We are the Mountain Women of Jackson Hole. To your health. I have prepared myself to be where I am. Having a purpose is the key. People say I must be special to do this, but I'm not special. I just love. Part of my purpose is to help those little things make a gigantic difference. We all have challenges. None of us get through this lifetime without a hard time. Breast cancer is really a disease related to hormones. It's like the play, you know. My mother wouldn't say the word. Anything that you do to prevent heart disease also prevents cancer and makes you live longer and better. It isn't ever too late. Five girls to simulate what an actual jam would be. I cry, I feel much better afterwards. This is why I do what I do. Our estrogen decreases and it really affects our sex drive. The hormone changes, he ain't got no problems compared to that, I promise you. We're not gonna go back to hunter-gatherer, but we do have to make some changes. America's lifestyle is killing us. Age is just a number. The older a tree gets, the more beautiful it gets. It's not really a male-dominated world. Men just think it is. At the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest. New Step Ann Arbor, supporting the active lives of women with inclusive fitness products for over 20 years. The area agencies on aging serving Southeast Michigan are a trusted resource for and a proud supporter of today's aging woman. What if you could get on a plane and travel to a place where women live healthy and active well into their hundreds? Well, such a place exists. They're called Blue Zones. I'm Desiree Cooper. Join us as we travel to the island of Okinawa, Japan, where the combination of diet, exercise, and community seem to make a world of difference in the lives of these women. There was a very interesting book written recently called Blue Zones, and this book talks about regions of the world where older adults live long. Um, they hit their 90s into their 100s, and they do it so well. The blue Zone is a, uh, a demographic term coined by uh, Dr. Michel Poulain, a Belgian demographer, that refer, originally re referred to a, a zone of uh, a, a longevity zone found on, on the island of Sardinia. In areas of longevity, the two most uh, raw science components of why there's so little diabetes and other excess calorie diseases like heart attack and stroke and some cancers is really that they, they move more and they, they eat less calories. The demographers I work with uh, Gianni Pass and Michel Poulon as they were zeroing in on, on the, the 17 villages, 42,000 people in the highlands of Sardinia. They were using demographic data and they were drawing circles on a map. And they were drawing those circles in blue ink. And as they got closer and closer to the, the concentration of longevity, they were just calling the area inside the those circles, blue zones. Okinawa is one of those zones. Remind us um, about all the healthy activities that can be part of your life throughout the lifespan. Okinawa is a prefecture of Japan. One side of the islands you see the Pacific Ocean, the other side you see the East China Sea. It's a beautiful place. It's a, there are a lot of beautiful coral reefs around here. Now the water is very transparent, blue, green.
Okinawa had one of the highest centenarian, if not the highest centenarian ratio in the world. And there's a very low rates of cardiovascular disease and certain cancers. Uh, practically every age associated disease is, is very low. The rates are very low in, in, in uh, Okinawa. So it's a perfect blue zone. We've been married for over 70 years. They build a house together. They went to the, to the forest to cut some woods, and that's what, how they started. If you really want to find the secrets of, of longevity, secrets of healthy aging, you have to go into the villages and, and see, see what the older people have been doing their whole lives and, and what they're still doing to a large extent. And there you can really find the, you know, the secrets of healthy aging. And we've been doing this as uh, leading a, a study called the Okinawa Centenarian Study, since a study that was be begun by uh, Dr. Makoto Suzuki in 1976, looking at the oldest old in Okinawa. And uh, we just found uh, a lot of the factors that, that help them to reach these, these very old ages and, and why, for example, in Okinawa there's this such high rate of centenarians. She didn't have the time to be lonely. She was uh, very busy raising her children and uh, she felt as long as she uh, was healthy enough to raise her children, that was, that was all what she was thinking about. Yes, of course, uh, she likes to not just walk but to visit many places, place, even though she is uh, old now, she still has many places that she wants to visit. She tries to visit her as much as she can, or else her sister will start complaining. Why haven't you visited me in, uh, for uh, not for a few days? So, uh, she's getting very old, and she's getting uh, very noisy about that about that issue. So she tries to visit her as much as she can now, or else she she will start complaining. The older the women get, you know, Okinawa, the, the, the more they tend to throw off the shackles of 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 uh, society. That, you know where they have to behave in certain patterns. They can get quite rowdy and and uh, and uh, sometimes even risque. And um, they they're pretty active. They're they're in the fields. They're growing vegetables. They're they're farming. Um, they're they're tough. If you think about embracing the aging process, you need what's called ikigai, which is a the raison d'etre. You need a reason to get you out, something that excites you, something that grabs you. Everybody needs that. Here at Okinawa, they have a, a, a kind of a carefree attitude. It's, it's kind of a, a good, optimistic, um, the, kind of a que sera, sera attitude towards life. Nan kurunaisa, which means it's like a, whatever happens, I'm sure it's going to happen for the good. About once a month, the, the women come together and from the community and they gather at the community center and they celebrate their birthdays. And everybody that had a birthday that month, they will celebrate, you know, so it's a, not only a celebration of their birthday, it's a celebration of their life. It really shows their joie de vivre, you know, their joy of life. There's always a dance that, in the traditional dance is called a kachashi, you know, it's like movement with the hands like this, you know. And they, they just go wild. It's really, it's really a lot of fun. And this is so important when you're growing older, to, to retain that. One of the most important things you can do is you never lose that, that sense of, of wonder, that sense of uh, playfulness, uh, uh, 
the ability to have fun. A lot of these women, uh, some of them have never even been to a, a doctor. They're, they've been healthy their whole lives. So the, the, the medical teams will come and they'll, they'll take that opportunity to, to, to check up their health. The police officers will, will come and they'll explain the issues of traffic safety and make sure the older person looks both ways before they cross the street and, and that they don't, you know, that they're wearing visible clothing and that they're not out wandering the streets after having a little bit too much sake at night or, you know, so, you know, which kind of speaks to how active these people are, you know, particularly the women, you know, and can you imagine in, in a city in America where the police officer come to the seniors home and say, okay, everybody, be careful when you're crossing the street. I mean, they're not crossing the street. They're not out there. What is it about the way Okinawans eat that contributes to health and longevity? What's a nutrient-dense, calorie-poor diet? Let's learn how we can adopt the Okinawan diet into our own lifestyles. In the midst of this influx of westernization, um, fast food culture, uh, there still existed in Okinawa and still does today, these, these pockets of uh, uh, particularly in the, in the more traditional villages, away from the large city centers where older people live a, a, uh, a very traditional lifestyle. And they're, they're eating the traditional diet. They're eating a lot of green leafy vegetables. They grow a lot of their own foods. Um, and uh, you see these people living very long lives with very low rates of, of disease. So you want to keep your inflammation levels low as you're, as you're aging. And you can do this by consuming a lot of antioxidants, a lot of polyphenols, a lot of fruit and vegeta vegetables, such as uh, sweet potatoes. They're a very good, uh, healthy source of carbohydrates, very high in antioxidant vitamins, A, C, E, loaded with carotenoids, green leafy vegetables, uh, deep uh, orange root vegetables, lots of color. You want a rainbow in your diet. You want all these colors. There's a, a lot of things you can do without having to come to Okinawa and, and look for Okinawan vegetables. You, you can look for vegetables in your own market. Try and grow your own vegetables. You don't want them your tomatoes out of a box that has been had some chemical added to it and are picked to green and shipped to your supermarket. You grow your own uh, tomatoes in your own garden until they're red, ripe, and juicy on their vine and they taste wonderful. Get some uh, some good healthy juices. Veggie juices is good. There's some good juices coming out there. You don't want sugar in those juices. You want 100%. Get that smoothie out in the morning. Get the blender going. Put in your, your blueberries and your blackberries and your raspberries and your strawberries and a little bit of yogurt and some soy milk and, and you got a wonderful uh, super antioxidant drink that's going to get you going in the, in the mornings. Soy products were the main protein in the diet. Soy products being wonderful, very tasty tofu. Incorporate rice into your diet. Make your rice brown. Make your bread brown. Oatmeal is a wonderful breakfast food. It's very low in calories. It's very high in nutrients. It helps with your cholesterol even. Sea vegetables are very interesting because they, they contain a, a lot of nutrients. We want a nutrient-dense diet, but a calorie-poor diet. That's the ideal combination. Fish is, Okinawa is an island. There's access to, to a lot of fish here. Fish, of course, um, you should be eating two or three times a week. You want your omega-3 uh, fatty acids. Fish contain very healthy uh, essential fatty acids. The term harahachibu basically means um, eat until you're about 80% full. Now what, I mean, What's 80 percent? We don't know, but the, we, you always uh, the, leave a little bit of room in your stomach. You push yourself away from the, the table when there's a little bit of room left in your stomach. And if you think about this scientifically, it takes about 20 minutes for the stretch receptors in the stomach to kick in and tell you you're full anyway. So if you keep eating and eating until you're full, then you've eat, overeaten. So if you push yourself away from the table, 
before you're completely full, then you're, you're at a, a good, good spot. A lot of these things help to reduce the risk for, for, um, for example, for heart disease by 80% compared to Americans. They have 80% less heart attacks. That's amazing. And uh, hormone-dependent cancers, prostate cancer, breast cancer, almost unheard of in the older people here. A take-home message from these older women is that, well, they, they, they've lived life to the fullest. They haven't had an easy life, per se, but they've really, uh, they've had their health. And isn't that what we all want, really, to be, to be healthy to the end? We can't live forever. But we can certainly be active and healthy and push back the, 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 the morbidity and mortality many, many years. And this is what these women have taught us. We sent out ourselves on a quest to see for ourselves what it is about the lifestyles of these Sardinians that allow them to live so healthy, long, and disease-free. I was waiting for someone 80, and I got someone We, we turned the tables on Valeria. It says, uh, in the land of long-living persons, there are the roots of, the, of all tastes. This is fantastic. And these are the magic goats we've been searching for. The goats have particular liking for certain plants that have very high antioxidants, possibly anti-cancer properties. He's going to offer us su Casa Gedo. This is a typical fresh fermented cheese of this part of Sardinia. This is from the goats. This is from the goats. This is great. Does Mario take any kind of vitamin supplements uh, to help with his diet at all? He doesn't even know what is that. <laughs> the core issues are really about the, t the, the brass tacks. It's healthy eating and, and physical movement. And notice, guys, I know you're going to be thinking, what's, what's Doc Tom doing? He's eating bread and cheese. This isn't just any cheese. Again, this, was, this is goat's cheese. And if you watch where the goats are now, they're up on the top of one of probably the healthiest places to eat on earth, eating herbs and grasses and weeds and probably some insects in the, in the process. These are some exercising animals. That, that, is a, uh, that, is a, that is more than a treadmill, my friends. That's a mountainside. That's excellent. Alegria. You could see the beautiful atmosphere in, in this vista. We had to stop and take a look. I mean, who wouldn't want to look at this gorgeous, this gorgeous scenery? But as I stepped out of the car, I couldn't help but kind of be a little disgusted to see a little souvenir that we sent all the way from America to here. Sure enough, pretty soon we'll adulterate this area as well. So that's what we're here for, to capture on film before we lose it, the culture that has brought us all these centenarians. But this is not it. I'm not loving it. I, I feel it's almost an insult to Sardinia and to the concept of what we're trying to do to drive it. You gotta walk it. That's how you can really feel it. Well placed, right on the mountainside. A beautiful, beautiful village. There are special areas in Sardinia where the lifestyles have been part of the traditions for thousands of years. Author Dan Butner of the Blue Zones had to be captivated when he came here, looking for really the holy grail of longevity and of eternal youth. Probably even more captivated to find how simple it really was. All right, here we are. We asked for pictures of himself, and as you might expect is appropriate, he wants to show us the, fami the family, la familia. He himself is a, a retired shepherd of the lifestyle that we're looking for here in Sardinia. Look how healthy he is. He looks, he looks very strong. We would love to hear what he's growing in his garden, so he's gonna give us a tour. Tomato, fennel, lettuce, mm -hmm. fennel first, and eggplants in the end. Oh, no. There are not many people who still, uh, among, amongst the, the younger Jolene. generation, that still uh, keep on gardening, the younger uh, losing. Now we're going to go with Antonio to meet his friend, who, like him, was his shepherd, but is 97 yes. years old and still going strong. Yes. 
He's an old guy. He's saying he's an old guy. He has a strong hand. Not like, not like my weak hand. This is a man that has produced something with his hands. When you come and you meet somebody and you face them eye to eye to learn, that's the, that's the real life lesson. Socialization is a critical part of these gentlemen's lives, and here they are gathering together, all seven of them, enjoying, discussing, laughing, staying connected with one another. And it's important to point out that this isn't something that they force, this is something that comes naturally. Now we want to take a moment to talk about eating a variety and eating your colors. And we're not talking about your M&Ms, guys, okay? We're talking about a variety of fruits and vegetables. When you eat a variety of colors, red, green, yellow, orange, you're gonna get the vitamins and minerals you need. Manja. He's saying that uh, any kind of uh, work, it has to be done with satisfaction. If uh, there's no satisfaction, it's not worth. You can taste the passion. Pomodori fresco in mangiare. Buono, vero? Of his response. Here we are in the uh, villages, one of the villages in the outskirts of the town of Patata. You can't uh, uh, overstate the importance of the fact that our record setter, our centenarian, 101 years old, still, what his point was, walking and moving, staying active. He's asking me to walk a little bit slow, but I would consider this pretty quick for a man 101 years of age, wouldn't you? The most of the Sardinian meals, Sardinian diet, include onion. We've heard about the atherosclerosis, or hardening of the artery preventive properties of onions. Il pranzo è pronto. Lunch is ready. Salute. This is a complete experience where food might be the center of it, but family and friends and the whole affair are really the, the big deal. How young does he find himself today? He's going to be 98, uh, the 19th of October. He always drank a bit of wine, a little, but not, never too much. Never. No. Uh, limit is with a limit. He's saying exactly with a limit. And this is important. I mean, moderation is key. Enjoy your wine, but uh, with with some moderation. He's going to drink uh, some wine with us even today. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we look forward <laughs> to it. He's going to offer us some wine. I would love the advice from both of them. What is the secret of the healthy, long, loving marriage? No, no Love as the first thing, and then when you don't like something, uh, you don't have to tell it uh, in a bad way. <laughs> Having a bad discussion is the worst thing because it lasts a long time in a family. Grazie mille, I'm going to take these life lessons with me. Life is the same for everyone. So we all gonna die one day, and the only difference is that uh, how long do you live, and how much do you profit of your life, how much do you enjoy your life when you are still young? Because between dying at 30 and dying at the age of 80, it makes a lot of difference because of the time you spend in between and how do you spend it. Usually when things have gone this far, people tend to disappear. No one will surprise me. And let's not discount the fact that living on an island paradise could have something to do with having good health. In our next episode, we turn to ancient cultures to offer us alternative ways to address aging and women's health. I'm Desiree Cooper. Join us next week for insight into holistic medicine.
At the University of Michigan's A. Alfred Taubman Medical Research Institute, we're standing behind women as they embrace all of life to the fullest. Thank you.